When a racist shooter stormed the top supermarket in Buffalo last month, killing 10 people, a store security guard fired back. But his shot had no effect because the gunman was wearing bulletproof body armor. The shooter fired back at the guard, killing him. Um, it was a you know a, a pretty uh, one-sided fight there with the uh, with the armor that he had. Weeks later, New York passed a bill limiting the sale of bulletproof vests statewide. It being used by criminals or would-be criminals because they feel emboldened, they feel empowered. That's what happened in Buffalo. But critics say the law was rushed through too quickly and doesn't even appear to cover the type of body armor worn by the Buffalo shooter. Bradley Padell is the co-founder of 221B Tactical, a New York-based company that designs and sells ballistic vests. All kinds of people are feeling uneasy now due to this, uh, this crime wave that's going on in a lot of these big cities and they are increasingly contacting us. If people want help, why shouldn't they be allowed to wear it? The law prohibits the sale or nice transfer of vests defined as bullet-resistant soft body armor to anyone who doesn't work in law enforcement or other select professions. These lightweight vests can be effective against pistol fire, but what the law doesn't seem to ban Vests known as plate carriers that hold hard armor panels meant to stop rounds from high-powered rifles. That's the armor used by the Buffalo shooter. We're not the Congress. We're a state legislature. Asked so, about this, Assemblymember Jacobson, the things, bill's lead sponsor, told the AP that he would work to make the law even stronger in the next legislative session. They fumbled the ball, if you will. Armored assailants are, are few and far between when we talk about the violence that we deal with regularly, right? Uh, uh, 10 to 14,000 people killed every year with a firearm. I don't think this addresses that. According to a database of mass shootings kept by the nonprofit The Violence Project, just 12% of mass shootings involving four or more victims since 1966 involved shooters who were wearing body vests. Eller says, though, he still sees it as a positive sign that lawmakers are at least moving the needle on reforms. Ideology aside, uh, we're, in a, we're getting to a better place where people actually want to see some answers. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.